you're gonna have to forgive me for the overly aggressive uh, YouTube title. But basically, what I'm trying to say is, this is what I've done so that I don't burn out in cycling. So I can continue to ride on a regular basis. These are my little tricks. One of my little tricks is, whoops, I want to die. One of my little tricks is exploring new routes and while this isn't a new route, it is recently paved. So I want to see if the road bike can do it. So I'm bringing the Canyon in flight. And we're gonna go on a road bike ride. See if the bike can handle it. And along the way, I'll tell you about some of the things that have kept the fire burning for cycling. part of the ride I was familiar with but I passed here before and this is new so if you've been following this vlog for a while you already know that one of my favorite things to do is explore new roads and although technically I've been to this spot before it did not look like this it's all cemented road now and I know there are cyclists that just go through the same roads over and over again but for me I would not be able to do that that would suck the fun out of it for me so I am very willing and in fact it's probably my default to explore roads whenever possible and that to me has been the biggest hack for me to keep the fire burning and cycling oh it it gets steeper another way not to get tired of cycling is to to challenge yourself like really challenge yourself Join a cycling event. My favorite ones are the gravel events or the Audax events. Those types of events tend to suit me as a rider. And when you join events like that, it'll kind of force you to train. You might learn how to train properly, how to manage your nutrition properly. Which reminds me, I have to eat. And you just get better and faster as a cyclist. But on the flip side, if all you've been doing on the bike is training, let go of the gas a little bit. Try just cycling for a coffee. <laughs> cycling does not have to be racing. Cycling does not have to be training all the time. Cycling can just be fun. So, 
what I like to do after a bunch of events, especially if I start to feel uh, the mental fatigue of training regularly, then I'll go out on a few bike rides with no training in mind. Might even be like super easy bike rides. Like maybe even easier than zone two. And I'll do that until I feel mentally ready again to train. Like these days have been really physically and mentally tiring for me because we have a one-year-old. <laughs> Sorry, Miles. I'm gonna blame you a little bit for my tiredness. And also, just opened up a bike shop. So, new baby, new business. It's been a bit physically and mentally draining. So just going out on a ride is nice without any agenda. I had to turn back and stop for this. I had to take note because I should not be going up there. Not quite road bike friendly, but adventurer friendly. Not too bad. Pretty steep. Hey. Sorry, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the But really steep all of a sudden. I'm going up, down, up, down. Last few kilometers. Whew. Here you go, boss. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is the last bit of climbing. I'll talk later. Look at this view. Take this next advice with a huge grain of salt because as a bike shop owner, this is going to be very biased, but buying something new for your bike kind of makes you want to ride the bike. Even small purchases like uh, tires, although tires are not that small a purchase, or bar tape, they can make the bike feel totally different. And um, like here, I'm going to plug this bar tape. We sell this bar tape in the shop. It's called Passe Bar Tapes. Uh, they are a brand from Manila. And I really enjoy these tapes because they come in so many colors and so many designs. And I really enjoy putting this on my bike. It's not the thickest, it's not the softest, but it feels perfectly fine. It's not slippery and it cleans really well. My bar tape in particular has this white stretches here. And after a month or so of riding it, it got really dirty. Like some of my hands were really dirty and then it got on the bar tape. And Kenneth just got, I think, some soap and water and then he cleaned it. And um, they're almost as good as new. So yeah, I really like those bar tapes. But on the flip side, if you are always with somebody who tells you to buy something new for your bike, oh, get that, get that new wheel set, get that new bike, get that new slash expensive thing. And uh, I'll be honest with you, sometimes those people are kind of difficult to be around. Like, I just want to ride my bike for the most part. So staying somewhere in the middle tends to be a nice little thing. Little thing, like if you honestly feel like you need a new bike, get a new bike. But if you don't, don't. Uh, if you get something new for your bike, like a new new tires or something, that might make you feel like riding more. All right, let's go home. I'm watching an old YouTuber. An old YouTuber. Who are you watching? Steve Terry, the guitar guy. Oh, the guitar guy. 
Steph made me breakfast when I got home. Pretty good. It's a lot. I think with... I think with like all of my suggestions, it's basically, I'm basically suggesting to change it up. If you don't ride with people normally, try riding with people. Uh, you never know. Like, uh, some of my most enjoyable rides have been with other people. And at the same time, I've enjoyed so many rides by myself. And uh, I like doing both either way. I find that the longer rides are easier when I have people with me. Because doing like a four, five, six hour ride by myself is difficult. <laughs> right? But the shorter rides by myself, the one hour, the two hour, sometimes even the three hour rides, those are quite nice. Because I don't need to, to catch up with anybody, I don't need to wait for anybody. If I want to take a break anywhere that I want to, then I can take a break. I don't need to stop if I don't want to stop. But at the same time, Cycling with other people, you have this opportunity to connect with another person and those are always good. I always like those opportunities. Also, you don't have to stick to just cycling as your form of exercise. There are other exercises out there and they can be quite fun. Later, we're gonna go to this climbing gym with the kids and my hands are gonna hurt. Yeah, my, I'm gonna make my hands hurt. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be something that I'm really bad at. I'm not flexible at all, and I don't have that much upper body strength. Especially doing it with the kids, it's quite fun. So try different types of exercises. And then, when you feel like it, you'll get back to cycling, and cycling will feel fresh again. And then lastly, I find that it is helpful to share your experiences with other people. Now, I'm not saying you should start a vlog or, or you know, be a, a, a content creator slash influencer. I really dislike that word. But you can just share your experiences with other people. Uh, doing it online is the easiest. And if you do it online, you might stumble into your community or into a community who might appreciate you. Everybody has something to, to share. Like even me, I know a few friends who have tried some products that I want to purchase for myself. And all I did was just ask them about it. And I got their feedback. And kids are shouting. And believe it or not, I couldn't find this information online and I just messaged a friend because uh, turned out he had the same thing I was looking at and he said it's totally fine so I'm purchasing it and I'm gonna let you know about my thoughts about it soon. It's for the Surly Midnight Special. Steve Terraberry has Jimmy Eat Oil featured! Oh yeah? Yeah! Oh really? Is it yeah. a good episode? Yeah! Yeah! So share your experiences online you don't need to start a vlog, but you know, you help somebody out there and I feel like that also helps you stay into cycling for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. All right, the wife is back and um, we're going to go wall climbing. Ciao. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> He's got it. 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 He's got it.